I've been on nine cruises over the last 12 months and I've narrowed down my cruise essentials to about 30 items that I think are absolute must packs. But I admit there are some things that I used to bring on a cruise that I am no longer packing this year. Hi there, I'm Yolanda from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I'm filming this video on location on board Freedom of the Seas in my ocean view cabin. And I'm going to show you all of the things that I did bring for this cruise that were absolutely essential. I'm also going to share with you a couple of items that are, I think, optional that you may want to bring on a cruise, depending on what some of the activities are that you do plan to be doing. Now, before I get started, I did want to share with you two things. Firstly, forgive me for the lighting. I am on board an older cruise ship, and this is really the lighting in the cabin, and I didn't bring any of my better filming equipment. I am just on a four day cruise. And secondly, if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, a bag smart makeup bag. Now I've had a couple of different makeup bags over the last year or two. This is a new one that I've tried and I am really loving it. It's got this diagonal zipper so it opens up really nice and open and flat when you do put that into the drawer in the cruise ship desk or vanity so i am loving bringing this now and this is my go-to cosmetic bag i think not only for a cruise but for at home as well number two packing cubes now packing cubes for this small cabin is an absolute essential now my husband has been using the green packing cubes I usually use the blue packing cubes. It helps us to stay organized. And this way, what we can do is actually just use the closet shelves. There are really not very many in this cabin and we can just stay organized and it's really quick to pack and unpack on our cruise. Number three, a hanging toiletry bag. Now I use a pink hanging toiletry bag. My son actually uses a black hanging toiletry bag. We find this so useful even for pre-cruise stays at hotels and this is i think an absolute must-have now moving into the bathroom poopery poopery is an absolute must-have cruise essential honestly i don't even think i could cruise without this in particular for older cruise ships i have noticed that the ventilation in the bathroom is a little bit worse even than newer cruise ships so it is something to keep in mind Toothbrush covers. Now, something that occurred to me at a certain point is how housekeeping attendants, they're going to be cleaning the bathroom, even at hotels, they're going to be cleaning the bathroom. And I don't think that they're really going to be very careful about not spraying any cleaners on toothbrushes. So I always make sure that I do have my toothbrush covered and I even store them away when I do think that the cleaners are going to be coming in as well. Downy wrinkle release. I have already used this on my cruise so far now you can see here i also have these toiletry skins i think they're called so i'll show you that in a minute but the downy wrinkle release people often wonder what do you do when you can't use an iron in your cabin on a cruise ship well you can use downy wrinkle releaser it really does work it does take sometimes a little bit of steam or just even a little bit of a tug on your clothing but it does work now something new that i've purchased and i did find it quite handy are these little toiletry skins. So they just go over any of the bottles that you don't want to leak in your luggage. I decided to use these this time. They really did work even on my downy wrinkle releaser, which I did lose the cover for. It did help to make sure that this didn't leak in any of my carry-on luggage. Now, by the way, any of the items that I am mentioning in this video, I am going to leave them all linked down below in the description below the video title in case you do want to check them out. Now, something new that I decided to try out over the last couple of cruises are these clear TSA approved leak proof pouches. They are really good. And what I do like about them is even if you don't fill them full, they really do fold up pretty flat in your luggage. So they are very handy. And of course, if you are flying, they're TSA approved. So you can fill them to the one quart size. Now, over the last couple of cruises, I've made a small sort of DIY laundry packet. That includes if I want to do any hand washing in the sink. I also bought these Shout um, wipes for clothing, which I've actually found work quite well. I always bring Tide to Go very handy. And I have a couple of bounce sheets as well. Now, this is my go-to pill box. And I have tried a couple of other ones 
on Amazon as well. But this one just works really well. It does have this magnetic closure that keeps it closed and organized. And I love the size of this. I can bring it to the main dining room, throw this in an evening bag or put it in a tote bag as well. Not only do I keep my over-the-counter medications like my Tylenol, Advil, but I also put over here, that's my bonine or bonine. So for seasickness, if anybody gets it, I even have some cold medication if we need. So everything we could need. Now soon I am gonna share with you what I no longer pack, but I did wanna share with you something that a lot of people do forget. And it's just a few basic first aid items. So I always bring band-aids. I can tell you there's never a time that we have not used them on a cruise. I also bring polysporin or an antibiotic ointment. Recently I started to bring a cortisone just in case and I do have after bite as well. Now these days I'm bringing a non-surge protected power cube. Now I've had this one for a few years and it does have, like you can see, these USB outlets, but they actually have a newer version that includes USB-C and USB-A outlets. So that's even better. You won't even need any extra adapters and it does have three different electric outlets, which is perfect for a cruise. By the way, something that I didn't bring on this cruise, but really could have been very handy, is to bring a European travel adapter. I do have this at home and I just didn't bring it for this cruise. However, especially on older cruise ships where you're going to have even less electric outlets and you're really not gonna have any USB outlets at all, that could be very handy to give you an additional power outlet. Now, by the way, if you're getting ready for a cruise and you are trying to keep organized, I do have the Lifewell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner. Now, the Lifewell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47-page downloadable printable cruise planner that will help you to keep organized from the time that you booked your cruise all the way through disembarkation with packing lists, shore excursion planning forms, budget planning forms, outfit planning forms, and more. If you are interested in checking out what is included in the Ultimate Cruise Planner, I'm gonna leave all of the information linked down below in the description of this video. A cruise lanyard. Now you might have seen this hanging behind me a few minutes ago. I always bring a lanyard so that I can bring my cruise card around with me on the cruise ship. Otherwise, trust me, I have lost it whenever I do not do this. Now the alternative to this is to bring a cruise card holder. You can put that right on the back of your phone case. My husband prefers that because he always has his phone with him anyway. Now, by the way, when it comes to the lanyard, something that you can do on this one, this is one of the reasons I like it so much, is that you can actually undo the little strap and just have it as a clip. So if you wanna just throw it in your pocket, it's a little bit smaller, you can just do that as well. Now, this one is for the ladies. I know a lot of people ask me about my white cover-up. It is just right behind me. I love that white cover-up. I just think it's perfect. It covers in just the right places and it always looks pretty. I did buy it in black and honestly, I love it as well. Now we bring a few things to keep our cabin organized and in particular for these older, smaller cruise ship cabins, I think that they are really quite helpful. So one of them is magnet hooks. You can see right behind me, I have a magnet hook. I also have a couple near the door. I kept a couple near the bed. And I also use magnet clips to keep all of those papers for shore excursion tickets, etc. Keep all of that organized as well. Now, when it comes to the magnet hooks, and I am gonna leave some links down below in the description of this video, but something that is important is that they are heavy, duty magnet hooks. Now I like the ones that are 75 pounds plus because when you are hanging them vertically on the wall, it really doesn't hold 75 pounds. But if I get that or higher, it will actually hold a backpack and anything else that I want to hold that is a little bit heavier. Now for the magnet clips, I buy this set. I think it's about 12 or so that is in here and these are just perfect. Now also something that I do not think that I could live without, it just makes it so much easier to keep organized in our cabin is having a pop-up hamper. This way I keep all of my dirty laundry in there throughout the week or the few days of the cruise and then I pack all of that up at the end. Now by the way something that I started doing on my last cruise is taking all of my dirty laundry and putting it in a compression packing cube. Now while I like regular packing cubes for just packing up for my cruise I just find it a little bit easier in terms of organizing and even seeing through the bags but I have found this compression packing cube which I did buy anyway I found it worked really well to compress the items and this was perfect for bringing my laundry home. Now if you've watched my videos before then you know that I was a big fan 
of towel clips and I still am because they are so cute. But I have to say I am now a convert to towel bands. I tried them on my last cruise religiously. And these are light to pack, especially if you're trying to pack a little bit lighter, whether it's carry on only or not. These towel bands, they come in a set of four and the one that I bought included, well, these two colors, so very cute. And they take up next to no room and they are very light. My jewelry organizer pouch. Now, I think I bought this about four years ago. I am still using it on all of my cruises and I just can keep all of my jewelry organized. Whether I bring a lot or not, it just helps to keep everything in its place. A phone case on a lanyard. Now, I think this is something that we just don't talk about enough, but especially for shore excursions, if you have a lazy river, if you have water slides, even if you have the beach, not only can you keep your phone in here, which is great, but maybe you wanna keep your ship ID. Maybe you wanna keep a little bit of cash with you, a credit card. You can put all of this in your pouch. Now, two things that I didn't bring on this cruise, but you might wanna consider are either a snorkeling set. A lot of people like to bring these, especially for those private islands. It's cheaper to buy it yourself than to rent it on the private island if this is something that you want to do. And the other is water shoes. If I know I'm going somewhere where I'm going to need them, like I'm doing an excursion to Dunn's River Falls or to Virgin Gorda, or even some of the private islands, but if not, well, I leave them at home. Refillable water bottles. Now, if you're going on a cruise and you do not have a beverage package that includes water, you definitely wanna bring a refillable water bottle. Now this cruise, we did not buy the beverage package. We decided to do it a little bit budget style. I brought my refillable water bottle and I was very happy I did. Now I mentioned Bonine or Bonine. I'm still not sure how to pronounce that. So let me know please down in the comments below if you know. But I do think bringing something for seasickness prevention is imperative when you go on a cruise. Even if you've never been seasick, it really is assurance just in case a tote bag or a beach bag. In particular, if you are going on a hot weather cruise where you have beaches and you're gonna go over to the pool, you definitely want to have this. But even if you're on a cruise like the Mediterranean or Alaska, you might still go to the spa, you might go over to the pool, and you're still gonna wanna have a tote bag for your personal items. And of course, an alternative is always a backpack. Now, something very old school that we actually bring on our cruise, and a lot of cruisers bring this, is a digital alarm clock. So we have a very simple one. I'll link it down below in the description of this video. I don't think we've ever replaced the battery in years, so this works really well. Now the other item that you might wanna bring, also a cruiser favorite, is the motion sensor nightlight. Now, unfortunately, I left that on a cruise a couple of cruises ago. I really should get another one, especially when you're not in a balcony cabin. Now, I have one more gadget from Amazon that is definitely not for everyone, but people have been asking me about it, at least on this cruise, so I thought I would mention it. So what this is, is a light that you can attach to your cell phone. And what you can do then is you can take, let's say, food photos or any other photos that you want. It really is a nice bright light that you can adjust. And whether you're a content creator or you just wanna take good photos and videos, this is something that can be helpful. And this, like all of the other items that I mentioned in the video, will be linked down below in the description of the video. Now I'm gonna leave all of the information about the LifeWall Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner, as well as all of the links to the items that I mentioned in this video, linked down below in the video description. Now I hope that you found this video helpful. I would love to hear from you, especially let me know what are the things that you think are must have items for a cruise. And let me know as well if you've tried those towel bands. I just think they are genius. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.